color chart all these different colors that are in the set and one of the things that i noticed is that some of these colors she has opaques she has transparents and she has translucence and i've never seen translucent enamels before and i thought that that was really cool although i will admit that um because we're working with such small beads i don't really know if you can tell the difference between a translucent and an opaque so more testing to come i am so excited to be playing with these enamels now when you get them in the box, they come like this. This is, I think it's a little six ounce jar. And I, of course, am such a visual person that I had to go through and make my own little test beads. And I just hot glued them onto the lid of each of these little enamels. And I still got a ways to go. These are the whites that I'm going to do today. And I still got, I think, all the browns and the silvers. And then... I haven't even started on my transparents yet, so I'll start that. Anyways, yeah, I will check her out, and I'm going to be playing. Now, her enamels are all lead-free, so you don't have to worry about the lead, and they're compatible with COE 104. So that's what I was concerned about the most. And so I think the best way to test something for compatibility is to encase it. And I have been encasing these enamels and making these little rainbow rib beads from the opaques. Now, this is just a start on the testing. I don't know like how well they're going to work with different types of glass. I had one I had one that cracked. But that's probably me <laughs> because I didn't keep my bead warm. But this one was on some Sim glass. I think it was Swan. And I probably didn't keep my bead warm and then it cracked. So let's go ahead and just make this enamel um, vertebrae bead and we'll see how we do. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Okay, I got a little clear barrel here. It's just a Fetre Super Clear. And I've got opaque red 406, opaque orange 218, opaque yellow 443, opaque green 188, opaque blue 493, and I do have this translucent purple 118. Now, of course, they have different names, and I don't know what they are, but that's kind of... The most part for the most part that's what i got um paper towels are laid down wet wet paper towels and my um ventilation is turned on and i have this little scoop this is the best way that i found to put the enamels on it's like a little tiny mini like a little mini spoon it's in the dental tool section of amazon and now i'm just gonna start spooning <laughs> spooning this enamel on my bead. So we're going to do a stripe here and I just kind of go and just tap the enamel on the hot bead and then I go get more enamel, kind of heat the bead up again and I'm going to put a lot of enamel down because I really want a good rib. So you need, you need material, right? Okay, there we go. That's red. Let's go ahead and get that a little burned in. Now with enamels, you kind of want to work carefully because I think they burn a bit. Don't burn the dookie out of your enamels. And of course, me being as retentive as I am, I was all worried about all the enamels falling on my paper towel. But... I can always buy more, right? You can buy more, guys. Christmas shopping is over. Now you have to buy things for yourselves. Okay, let's go with the yellow here. Um, and so while I'm doing this, one thing I forgot to mention about pearly enamels is the shop ships out of Israel. And um, I was like totally caught up in the Christmas 
blah about, oh my God, shipping, shipping, it's going to take forever to get your stuff shipped. And I got my stuff within two weeks. So I was like super impressed that she got it shipped to me so quickly. So when you're in her Etsy shop and you're ordering, don't be afraid by the fact that she ships from Israel because honestly, my product came so fast. I was so happy. It was, it was like Santa Claus. I opened the door and my package was right there on my doorstep and I was like, what's that? Oh my God, my enamels are here. Honey, look. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's like, oh, yay, more toys. <laughs> All right, there's the green. Down it goes. Keeping my bead warm, kind of burning those enamels in a little bit. Let's go get some blue. <clears throat> Let me heat this up so it sticks well. Okay, and now I'm going to put purple right on the end. Man, now, every time I hear the word purple, I think of that song with Ryan Reynolds. I could be green, I could be blue, I could be violet sky. I could be hurtful, I could be purple, I could be anything you like. <laughs> now it's all stuck in everyone else's head. Got you, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, here we go translucent purple let's put a good a good little layer of that on and you know what you guys if the colors run together a little bit like you get some blue powder mixed with some purple powder don't sweat it it actually looks cool like that when the powders mix because we planned it that way ha huh? all right time for the ribs and I'm just going to use a commercial stringer of the Effetre Super Clear. So let's go ahead and put our ribs on. And some people do spiral ribs. I do round the world ribs. So one circle here. And another circle next to it. La 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 la. I have so many plans for the new year, for this channel, for my classes. It's going to be an awesome year. Because that's what we all need these days is an awesome year, 2022. Let's make it a good one. All right. So I like kind of long ribs. And so there I got my first wraps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a second one because that'll make the little ribby parts stick out more if you put on a tall little clear base here, these, these clear loops. La 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 Okay. Coming around the end here. And that's the last one. All right, got my ribs on. I'm gonna go grab my clear rod that is currently in the kiln. Ah, and it's hot. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and now we're going to just melt down stuff. Kind of just get that enamel to start coming up through the top or in between each of the clear little ribs. And this is kind of a trick because I think you can burn these enamels. So I'm trying to get the glass just hot enough for it to expand but not so hot that the enamels burn. And it's hard. Because I, I noticed on all of my yellows that I burned it. And it looks burned, it's all brown. 
but only in certain areas like the really thin area was brown like I burned it too much but the fat areas close to the core weren't burned so you know go figure you guys just little personalities here of our materials Can I hold this yet? No. <laughs> okay, so you can see now that those enamels, the lines in between each of the clear, um, clear areas will start to light up. And that's how you know things are melting down and expanding. You want the enamel lines to come up through the clear ends. All right, so now I got my rod. It's super long. I had it in the kiln. It's kind of hot. <laughs> I'm just going to heat up some blobs and encase this. La la la. Sorry, it's taking so long. <clears throat> I could turn off the camera and just do this, but I don't have enough hands. I need four of them. I only have two. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and put a blob in between the red and the yellow. Good. One encasement. Now remember, when you're encasing, you want your edges to touch each other, those side edges. I usually just go over the top <laughs> of the side and then that way I know I'm not going to get any bubbles and it just takes some patience and some time especially these big rods to get a good wad on it, it takes forever okay let's go in here oh please no bubbles please no bubbles okay Another good size watch. I was going to use my um, mold roller to roll the shape out, but <laughs> I might have too much glass. I don't know if it's going to fit in the roller or not. All right. Another big wad here. I'm going to come around just on the edge a little bit. I don't need a lot. And I think I got a hole right there. All right. I think I got my clear down. Let's see if this roller is going to work or not. <laughs> heat her up, heat her up, heat her up. And now that enamel is kind of protected by the clear. So I'm not so worried about burning it like I was before. I'll make sure my... Yeah. My roller is clean. I've been doing a lot of beads that have bead release on them because I didn't clean my roller out. Okay, this guy might not fit. We might have to punt. We might have to punt and do it by hand. La 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 gonna fit now again using these mold rollers what I do first is I gently press the bead to get the initial form and then once I get the form then I start rolling I don't start rolling right away I want to get that initial form first oh there's a big old bubble in there um, I want to get the initial form first I think that your roller you shouldn't have any kind of, um, it shouldn't be hard. When you start rolling the bead rather than pushing it down, it should be very easy to roll it. See, like that? There's no resistance. So I always just press it down until there's very, very little resistance. Then I'll do my rolling at the very end. Okay. I think I got a shape I like. Let me get my monster mashers out because we're going to mash this puppy. <laughs> Whee! And I just pulled 
all of my enamel all over my desk. Yay. Remember, guys, enamels, you want your mask and you want your ventilation and your wet paper towels. Don't suck that stuff in. All right, we're getting close. <laughs> I'm going to say sorry about the big old bubble. Ugh. All right, here we go. Let me mash it down. There we go. We got some ribs. Okay, I tell you what. I'm going to put this in the fire blanket to um, cool off, and I'll show you the finished result. Okay, here's the finished bead. I'm trying to show it to you without getting any glare on it. And, um, you know, not my best vertebrae bead, but we're working on it. <laughs> anyway, you can see right here in the orange part, I burned some of it. Now, I don't know if that's me burning the yellow or me burning the orange. And I think to avoid this, what I want to try to do is just have thicker layers of enamel. Um, I think if you have thicker layers, the, you kind of protect it from the heat a little bit. So I want to go ahead and play around with how thick the layers are. But you get an idea of the greens and the blues. Even there, that is that translucent purple that kind of faded out a bit. Don't know what's going on there, but lots of opportunity to play around. And of course, a giant bubble. <laughs> and there you can see again, right here is where I kind of, I think I burned it off, but I'm not sure. And more translucency going on here. Anyways, you guys, that is my first attempt at using pearly enamels for vertebrae ribs. Have a great day. I'll be back soon. I'm so excited for 2022. I'm glad you guys are here with me. And um, yeah, bye.